I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist Victoria Cavalieri, and given that many locations were able to see the Northern Lights just about a week ago, today we're talking about auroras and why they form. So the first component is something called the solar wind. Essentially what happens is that heat and charged particles are emitted from the sun. Now usually Earth's magnetic field protects us from those charged particles. That's why we don't always see the Northern Lights. But sometimes during what we call a solar storm, the sun actually emits more charged particles than normal. And some of those extra charged particles, well, they are able to make it to the poles of the Earth. When that happens, we see that those charged particles interact with oxygen and nitrogen in the Earth's atmosphere. And it's those specific interactions with those charged particles that result in different colors to form. And that's why we see things like the Northern Lights or what you may know as Aurora Borealis. Now, the shape of those auroras is all dependent on the Earth's magnetic field, plus where you're viewing that aurora from. Don't forget, for some more information on all things space, you can always check out